Many of you might think that we are the only species of the human genus that ever walked on this planet. But the truth is that Homo sapiens is the only surviving species in genus. All other have become extinct. There are 16 types of human species discovered till date. Number 1. Homo gautingensis. This species stood just over 3 feet tall with about 50 kilograms. It could walk on 2 feet when on the ground, but probably spent considerable time on trees, perhaps feeding, sleeping and escaping from predators. Researchers believed that the Homo gautingensis lacked speech and language skills. Due to its anatomy and geological age, researchers think that it was a close relative of Homo sapiens but not necessarily a direct ancestor. Number 2. Homo habilis. Homo habilis is the least similar to modern humans of all species in the genus Homo. And it is classified as Homo which has been the subject of the controversial debate since its first proposal in the 1960s. Homo habilis was short, and had disproportionately long arms compared to modern humans. Homo habilis had a cranial capacity slightly less than half of the size of modern humans. Despite the ape-like morphology of the bodies, Homo habilis remains are often accompanied by the primitive stone tools. Number 3. Homo ergaster. Homo ergaster had thinner bones, more protrusive face, and lower forehead. This species had reduced sexual dimorphism, a smaller dental arcade, and a larger cranial capacity. Homo ergaster remained stable for 500,000 years in Africa before disappearing from the fossil record around 1.4 million years ago. Number 4. Homo erectus. These early hominins stood about 5 feet 10 inch, and were extraordinarily thin, with long arms and legs. The sexual dimorphism between males and females was slightly greater than Homo sapiens, with males being about 25% larger than females. Homo erectus used comparatively primitive tools. It has been suggested that Homo erectus may have been the first hominid to use the rafts to travel over oceans. East African sites, such as Chesawanja, near Lake Baringo, Koobifora, and Olegesele, in Kenya, shows some possible evidence that fire was utilized by early humans. At Chesawanja, archaeologists found red clay shreds, dated to be 1.42 million years ago. Homo erectus was probably the first hominid to live in small familiar band societies, similar to modern hunter-gatherer band societies. Homo erectus is thought to be the first hominid to hunt in coordinated groups, use complex tools, and cared for weak companions. Number 5. Homo rudolfensis. Homo rudolfensis were from early Pleistocene of East Africa, about 2 million years ago. Male Homo rudolfensis who were estimated to be about 5 feet 3 inch in height and 60 kilograms in weight, and females 4 feet 11 inch and 51 kilograms. Number 6. Homo antecessor. Homo antecessor is known to have been present in Spain possibly 1.2 million years ago in England and France 0.8 million years ago. Based on its unique mix of modern and primitive traits, classified it as a previously unknown archaic human species. Homo antecessor was about 5.5 to 6 feet tall, and males weighed roughly 90 kilograms. Homo antecessor might have been right-handed, a trait that makes the species different from the other apes. This hypothesis is based on tomography techniques. The frequency range of audition is similar to Homo sapiens, which suspect that Homo antecessor used a symbolic language, and was able to reason. The Grandolina preserved approximately 200 stone tools and 300 animal bones. Stone tools including a stone carved knife, were found along with the ancient hominin remains.
Number 7. Homo sapronensis. Homo sapronensis is a proposed name for a human species. Known from only one skull cap discovered in 1994. The age of the fossil is estimated to be between 350,000 to 500,000 years old. Number 8. Homo heidelbergensis. Homo heidelbergensis are likely to be descended from the morphologically similar to the Homo ergaster from Africa. But because Homo heidelbergensis had a larger brain case, they had more advanced tools and behavior, so they stand unique from others. Male heidelbergensis averaged about 5 feet 9 inch tall and weighed 62 kilograms. Females averaged 5 feet 2 inch and weighed 51 kilograms. Though numerous fossil bones indicate some populations of Heidelbergensis were giants routinely over 7 feet tall, and inhabited in South Africa, between 500,000 and 300,000 years ago. It was the first human species lived in colder climates. Their body was lightly adapted to the conserving heat. They had definite control over fire, and they used wooden spears for hunting. They were first to hunt large animals, first species to build shelter, create simple dwelling of wood, and rock. Number 9. Homo rhodensiensis. The cranium of a Homo rhodensis was found in a lead and zinc mine in Broken Hill, northern Rhodesia in 1921. The skull is from an extremely robust individual, and has the comparatively largest brow ridges of any known hominid remains. Number 10. Homo neanderthalensis. They are closely related to modern humans, differing in DNA by just 0.12%. Lived in Eurasia until 40,000 years ago. They were making birch bark tar crafts, as well as make fire and build cave hearths and simple fabrics resembling blankets and ponchos. They were also cruising the Mediterranean Sea. They made use of medicinal plants to treat severe injuries. They made use of wide array of food, mainly hoofed mammals. They were the apex predators. They still competed with cave bear, cave lions and other large predators. They wore ornaments made from bird bones or shells. Neanderthals were likely capable of speech possibly articulate, although the complexity of their language is not known. Average Neanderthal men stood around 5 feet 5 inch and women 5 feet tall, similar to pre-industrial modern humans. They may have frequented caves, and migrated from caves seasonally. Neanderthals lived in a high-stress environment with high trauma rates, and about 80% died before the age of 40. Number 11. Homo sapiens idol 2. Homo sapiens idol 2 is an extinct subspecies of Homo sapiens that lived almost 160,000 years ago, in Pleistocene Africa. Idol 2 is from the Sahoafar language, meaning elder or firstborn. They produced many stone tools. They seem to have been butchering mainly hippo and also bovines, in a lakeside environment. Number 12. Homo floresiensis or, Hobbit. Homo floresiensis, Flores man, nicknamed Hobbit and Flo, is widely believed to be an extinct species in the genus Homo. The remains of an individual that stood about 3.5 feet in height, were discovered in 2003 on the island of Flores in Indonesia. Partial skeletons of nine individuals have been recovered, including one complete skull. This hominin is remarkable for its small body and brain and for its survival until relatively recent times, possibly as recently as 12,000 years ago. The ancestors of Homo floresiensis could only have reached the isolated island by water transport, perhaps arriving in bamboo rafts around one million years ago. The cave also yielded a great quantity, over 10,000 of stone artifacts, mainly lithic flakes. Points, perforators, blades, and microblades were associated with remains of the extinct elephant Stegodon, 
and were probably used these tools to hunt elephant. Number 13. Denisova hominin, or Denisovan. Denisovan, are an extinct species of human in the genus Homo. In March 2010, scientists announced the discovery of a finger bone fragment of a juvenile female who lived about 41,000 years ago. Found in the remote Denisova cave in the Altai Mountains in Siberia. A cave which has also been inhabited by Homo neanderthalensis and modern humans. Two teeth, and a toe bone belonging to different members of the same population have since been reported. Number 14. Red Deer Cave People. The Red Deer Cave People were the most recent known prehistoric population that does not resemble modern humans. Fossils dated between 14,500 and 11,500 years old were found in Red Deer Cave and Longlin Cave in China, having a mix of archaic and modern features. They are tentatively thought to be a separate species of humans that became extinct without contributing to the gene pool of modern humans. Evidence shows large deers were cooked in the cave, which is how the people got their name as Red Deer Cave People. Number 15. Homo longi, or Dragon Man. Dragon Man is an extinct species of archaic human identified from a nearly complete skull in Harbin, on the northeast China plain, dating to a minimum 146,000 years ago during the Middle Pleistocene. The skull was discovered in 1933, along an under-construction bridge of Montukuo National Railway and finally brought to paleoanthropologists in 2018. The skull is low and long, with massively inflated brow ridges, wide eye sockets, and a large mouth. The skull is the longest ever found from any human species. Like modern humans, the face is rather flat, but the nose was rather large. The Harbin individual inhabited a cold, Stepland environment alongside the woolly mammoth, giant deer, Chevalsky's horse, elk, buffalo, and brown bear. Number 16. We the Homo sapiens. Modern humans Homo sapiens are the only existing members of the hominin clade, a branch of great apes characterized by erect posture and bipedal locomotion, manual dexterity and increased tool use and a general trend toward larger, more complex brains and societies. Among all the human species, Homo sapiens are the only surviving and fully evolved species. What made us so different from other human species? How we became the only surviving species? Follow our next episodes to discover more.